to all myself ajay misra sir this is class 4 science period and in previous two days we already completed chapter 13 the solar system i also sent question answer to the school app so please search there and write in your fair copy and today i am going to explain your last chapter that is the protection of environment it is also an important chapter so please watch this video carefully and try to understand so let us start the class chapter 14 protection of environment it is our chapter the protection of environment in this chapter we have to learn the topics that given plants and their importance animals and their importance and protecting plants and animals now the environment includes everything around us everything that around us that may be living or non living whether living or non living it includes non living components such as air water and soil living components includes plants animals and human beings plants and animals are dependent dependent on each other and help maintain the balance in the nature all the things that surround us that is known as environment the things may be living and non living the so all together make a environment their plants and animals living things air water soil dust table chair all these things they all include together and make a environment now plants and their importance we all know that our life depend on plants because all the things we get from the plants now what is the importance given topics plants and their importance plants are important to us in the following ways <coughs> trees help in preventing soil erosion by holding the soil with their roots we already read that soil erosion and soil conservation in previous chapters so soil the trees that hold the soil formally the root of the tree is not actually tree the root of the tree that hold the soil formally and prevent from the soil erosion green plants make food by the process of photosynthesis animal and human beings depend on the plants for food in previous chapter we already know about the photosynthesis photosynthesis during the day time plants with the help of air water and presence of sunlight plants make their own food and that process is known as photosynthesis so they prepare food and we all human and animals depend on plants for food trees keep the atmosphere cool by releasing water vapor in the air through transpiration they also make our atmosphere cool by transpiration releasing water vapor in the atmosphere that process is known as transpiration they release oxygen which is essential for all living beings to breathe we all inhale oxygen and plants during the photosynthesis plants release oxygen and that need for us they absorb carbon dioxide from the air during photosynthesis 
and during photosynthesis they absorb carbon dioxide excess carbon dioxide in the air can be harmful for the environment no to excess carbon dioxide if level of carbon dioxide is rise up that is harmful for our environment so plants absorb carbon dioxide from the environment from the air during the photosynthesis and we get wood from plants to make houses furniture and paper we get fibers such as cotton and jute from the plants these are used to make clothes bags etc we get tea coffee spices oil and sugar from the plants plants give us gum medicines and rubber many animals such as monkey and squirrels live on trees birds build their nest on the trees so <coughs> trees are also habitat of <coughs> birds and other animals who they live, spend their life on the trees the the given pictures we all these things get from the plants okay that is a easy chapter i hope you all understand and next topic animals and their importance we discuss in the next video so please watch this video carefully and try to understand if any confusion then ask in the class when class is going on okay thank you very much have a good day